Hey guys, Marley with Cheat Codes here with part two of how to buy a car. And if you haven't already, be sure to check out part one where we reviewed what you can reasonably afford and what you reasonably need in a car. Next up, we have the dreaded task of calculating your down payment on a car loan. A down payment is your initial purchase payment towards the vehicle. Essentially, it's how much money can I give them today? The good news with down payments is that you don't have to give the dealership or the seller or possibly mom and dad the full amount for the car. The bad news is in order to reduce the cost of that monthly payment we described, less is not more. You should be aiming to put down at least 10%, ideally 20% of the total cost of the car. So if you found a used car for $5,000, you'd want to try and put down at least $500, which would be 10% of the total cost, but ideally you'd want to be aiming for 20% of the total cost or $1,000. Having said all of this, put down as much money as you can because ultimately it'll reduce the cost of that monthly payment that we described above. Now it's very important that you consider the maintenance and miscellaneous costs that come along with car ownership. In addition to the down payment, you should also look ahead at potential car maintenance, oil changes, the cost of gasoline, the occasional flat tire, car insurance, and any other costs that come along with your specific vehicle. We recommend the amount you save each month for car related expenses be 10% of your monthly paycheck. So 10% of your paycheck goes to the car payment and 10% goes to car related expenses. So if you make $1,000 a month, we would take 20% of that, which equals $200 for the car loan and the car related expenses. It's important to always have this in the back of your mind. That's it for part two of how do I buy a car? Be sure to keep an eye out for the last video being released and keep up the great work. See you soon.